Alright guys, how's it going? Fatman52 back again, and in today's episode, we get Titus's Celestial Weapon. Let's get going. Alright guys, welcome back. So in the last episode, we uh, got our Onion Knight, which is Lulu's Celestial Weapon. And in this episode, we are going to go ahead and get Titus's Ultimate Weapon. Uh, which I have never been able to pronounce. It is uh, some European uh, language's predecessor to the Excalibur. Um, that is really about all I know. Uh, it has a really weird name. I think it's like it's supposed to be Salad Bung or something like that. But anyway, as you can see, we are starting here in front of Lady Unaleska. And that is because this is the room that has uh, our Sunfress. Um, so I did say in my original uh, playthrough video of this, which was in episode 20, I did not leave this room before you get the Suncrest. Unfortunately though, that might not have necessarily happened for you. Uh, so if that is the case, then you are going to have uh, Dark Muhammad in this area, which can be very difficult. Um, but either way, whether you do it through Lady Unaleska or after defeating Dark Bahamut, um, I'm going to show you guys how to get the, uh, the Suncrest, and I'm actually going to go ahead and import a uh, video from uh, the clip of the video from my original playthrough, and I will be right back once we have it and be meeting you guys in the Calmlands. See you in a second. And I'll find out. Alright, now, before you leave this room, you want to come up here to the very top where Lady Unaleska initially walked out and go down these stairs one time. Doing that causes a chest to appear over here. And please, for the love of all things, uh, holy, collect this right now. That is the Sun Crest, which is the crest needed for Titus's ultimate weapon. If you don't grab this now, you will not be able to grab it until after you are able to defeat Dark Bahamut. Um, and yes, I know, technically you can use um, uh, Zamato to take care of Dark Bahamut. I'm not doing that. I will not be using Dark Bahamut to, or Zamato to take care of Dark Bahamut, so grab it now. Alright everyone, so here we are back in the Calm Lands. And uh, what we need to do while we're here is actually go talk to uh, the Chocobo Trading Lady. And uh, we actually need to take care of all of her uh, little training sessions. And uh, a few of these can be a little annoying, but it's nothing too bad, honestly. Uh, but first we've got to start with the Dodger Chocobo. And uh, this is basically going to be the same thing that we did before, only uh, this time there's going to be uh, blitz balls coming at us, oh, which can be a little annoying, but uh, it's not too difficult. Should be able to do it uh, first or second try here. Uh, yeah, so we just got to run by and hopefully avoid these uh, blitz balls to the best of our abilities. And um, something that I realized is, at least during uh, this stage, it is a lot easier to use the D-pad than it is to use the actual uh, thumbsticks. Uh, as you can see, we got kind of annihilated right there. Uh, but let's see if we can't do a little bit better this time, can we? It's got a Duke and Jive. I have no idea how that hit me. But Duke and Jive go in between the balls, constantly moving towards the trainer. That one was a little bullshit. Uh, but let's see how we do- ow. Let's see how we're doing, and we just barely made that one. At a 16.3 out of 16.8. And, uh, for that, our reward is going to be a level 1 key sphere. Alright, but we're not done yet. We have to go ahead and do Hyper Dodger Chocobo. Uh, this is basically going to be the same thing, only... Uh, instead of just having blitz balls, we're going to be having blitz balls and birds. And uh, the blitz balls themselves are going to be uh, splitting into five, much like that guy. 
And that was bullshit bird right there. And uh, honestly, this this particular course is to me the most annoying because you're trying to avoid the blitz ball. But in order to avoid the blitz ball, you're going to be running into the bird. And then when you're trying to avoid the bird, you're going to be running into the blitz ball. Uh, so it's honestly, from my experience, more luck than it is any sort of skill. Um, because not everything works out in your favor during this little stupid part of the minigame. And like you, you want to be constantly moving towards the towards the goal. Uh, but the more direct of a path you take to the goal, the more the more birds are going to hit, the more blitz balls are going to hit you. Um, well, just just keep doing this over and over again. Uh, let's see if I can get it this time. Gotta move, move. Oh, I got hit by both that time. Give, give. Hit the oh. Uh, but yeah, so ju just keep at this one. You will eventually get the hang of this particular part of it. Um, I don't know if I got that. Let's see, how did we do? Ah, 0.7. We're 0.2 over. That's just stupid. Let's go ahead and uh, keep on giving it a shot. Uh, but yeah, so that was dumb. Just do your best. Don't get frustrated in this. Uh, you will eventually get it. You will eventually get some good breaks. Like, I believe a few of these birds have just barely missed me. I actually got hit right at the finish line right there. But I believe I got that. Yes, I did at 16.4. Let's see, what is our prize for that? Uh, first of all, we unlock Racing Her. Uh, but we do get a level 2 Key Sphere. Uh, but the main thing is we unlock Catcher Chocobo right here. And uh, what Catcher Chocobo is, it's a uh, race against uh, the Chocobo lady herself. Or at least on paper, that's what it is. What it actually is, is you're racing against a timer, again. And uh, you need to get the lowest score. The lowest possible time. Um, and by doing that, um, First of all, there's going to be balloons floating throughout the arena that when you collect them is going to decrease your time by 3 seconds. And by... There's also going to be birds, again, that if they hit you, you're going to increase your time by 3 seconds. Um, so that can be kind of annoying. Uh, but the main reason why we're doing this is because this is how we actually unlock both the sword and the Sigil for Titus' uh, sword. Um, and in order to get both of them, we need to win the race with a time of less than 0 0.00.00. Now that might sound impossible, uh, but remember, the more balloons we collect, the lower our score is going to be. Uh, so, we need to aim for about 13 to 15 balloons, um, and basically not get hit by any birds which can be very difficult to do, especially because the majority of this race is actually completely RNG based. Um, which can be very annoying, but the majority of this race is actually won in the opening little salvo right here. And we start here at the Makalania Woods, and we got a race all the way over here to uh, the Mount Gagazette entrance. And now she's telling us about the birds and the balloons and all of that good stuff. Let's see how we do. Uh, so this doesn't look like that good of a balloon setup. Uh, basically what we want is we want like five or six balloons here in the beginning. Um, just to give us like the best little head start possible. And uh, then in this little middle area, that's where we're going to be collecting the majority of our balloons. Uh, as long as we can avoid the birds. And then honestly, in this last area, it is very easy to get um, greedy and try to go after more balloons than you need. Uh, but realize the more you stay in the middle, uh, the more you're going to get hit by birds like I am right now. 
Uh, which is very obnoxious. But that was down to my own greediness and my own stupidity right there. Um, yeah, we didn't even break 10 seconds on that one. Let's go ahead and try this again. And let's see how we do. Alright, this is a better balloon setup. Let's see this. One, two, three, four. Right, so we got four. Uh, that's five. That might be enough. Oh, no. Nope. So, four again. Five. Six. Five. Six, seven. Ooh, I missed that one. Eight, nine. Nope. I got greedy again, guys. Oh, but yeah. So basically, what we're looking for is we're looking for like right off the beginning, like three or four balloons right on our side. Um, and it is worth noting that all we have to do to unlock the weapon is win this race. At this point, we can go get our sword, and there's our trophy for completing all of the uh, trainer, uh, the Chuckle Book trainer missions, but we want the sigil. Uh, so we gotta get 0, 0.00.00. Ooh, this one looks good. Let's see what happens here. Uh, no, she got ahead of me. Let's see if I could. Nope. We both just get hit by the same bird. Avoid! Bob and Weave, Chocobo! Bob and Weave! Mine! Oh, I missed that one. Nope! Aw, oh, damn it! That bird was already past me. How'd it hit me? Go, go, go! Definitely not enough, but that was a cleaner run. Uh, that might be. Sub 10? Nope. But anyway, guys, um, this is basically what I'm going to be doing for the next 20 30 minutes. I'll go ahead and bring you guys back in uh, once I have. Uh, ooh, this one's pretty good. Two, three, four, five. So that was a great start. Let's see how we do with the rest. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I missed that one. But I gotta avoid those birds. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, twelve, thirteen, twelve. Thirteen, twelve. Guys, I got too greedy. I got way too greedy. If I had just uh, grabbed that first 12 right there and then just stayed along the side, I probably would have been good right there. Oh, I definitely would have been good. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit. Um, I'll go ahead and bring you guys back in once, uh, once I have the race uh, good and set, uh, though I probably won't be commentating on that one. Uh, but I'll be right back. See you guys in a second. Alright guys, there we go with our 0.00, .00. there's our trophy for finishing it with that time, and uh, now for doing that, 
uh, we get a prize. We get a Turbo Ether for winning the race uh, with a new best score, as well as uh, this guy right here. Uh, come on, give it over. Give it over. We obtained our Sun Sigil. Very nice, very nice. Uh, no, I'm done. Alright. I might be done with the race, but I'm not done with the chocobos. Give me one. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Thank you. So, now, uh, now that we've won the race, uh, and you don't need that time for this, uh, but since we've won the race, this guy right here will actually move out of our way and give us access to where the sword is located. And uh, it is worth noting uh, right now that if we were to leave the Calm Lands, he'll go back to his position and block us off from the sword, and we would need to win the race again. Uh, I don't think we would need to do it with the time of 0 0.00.00, .00, but if you don't want to do that. Either way, you've already put in the work, so might as well grab the sword, uh, which is going to be up here in the very top, actually relatively close to where we first met uh, the Chocobo Trainer. Um, it's going to be right here. we got to get off of our Chocobo. And uh, just follow this path down. Come on. There we go. Nope. Let, there we go. Uh, just follow our path down. And uh, we got a little sigil on the wall right here. The celestial mirror seems to react. I want to use it. Why? Of course we do. And we hold up our mirror. Causing the sigil in the wall to react to the mirror. And there we have our sword. And let's see. Salad bulg? Colored bulg? Colored bulg? I have no idea, guys. Like, if I actually try to pronounce this thing by its name, it's going to change, like, every time I say it. Uh, so I'm just going to go with either Ultimate Weapon or Excalibur. Uh, but anyway, guys, at this point... We need to go ahead and head back to the uh, Celestial Spore. Uh, so I will meet you guys there. Alright guys, here we are back at the Celestial Spore. So uh, let's go ahead and power up Titus's weapon, shall we? Yep, first got to give the crest, like always. And look at that beautiful thing just floating on to the Spore. Doing a little jig. And the weapon has grown in power. Very nice, but we need more. We need lots more. So let's go ahead and do that again. And Titus, you look so proud of yourself. Stand there all like dancing like your sword is. And the weapon has obtained maximum power. But how maximum is his maximum power? Let's go ahead and take a look. Titus, let's go ahead and get this on you real quick. Alright, so we've got Break Damage Limit, Triple Overdrive, Evaded Counter, and Magic Counter. Uh, that sounds very familiar to me. I think it might be Kamari's ultimate weapon as well. No, Kamari has double AP as opposed to Magic Counter. Uh, maybe I'm thinking of Waka's uh, World Champion. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, that is going to be the end of the ultimate weapon, the celestial weapon, uh, in this video. Uh, but we're not actually done with the video. I'm going to be continuing on to uh, Remy Temple uh, to do some stuff over there since we're already doing Chocobo stuff right now. Uh, I got a, a trophy over there that I need to grab. Uh, so I will meet you guys over there. Alright, guys, so here we are in Remy Temple. And... Uh, like I said before, there's a trophy that I need to grab here, and it involves this Chocobo. Uh, we actually need to finish this race here. Not necessarily uh, finish it or beat it without hitting any of the poles, but beat it by hitting at or collecting five of the treasure chests, uh, which is a lot easier said than done. Uh, let's see if we can't do it right now real quick. Oh, that, that was stupid. I... Uh, I just messed up completely right there. Ain't no way I'm gonna win. Uh, but anyway, this is gonna be our first chest right here. And we got our stupid little hop here that's going to slow us down. 
Uh, next, we got to round up here and collect this chest. And then go right back up that ramp. And collect this third one up here. And then jump on down here and run all the way across. And this is our fourth chest right here. Yeah, there ain't no way we're going to win. This guy is way too far ahead of us. Let's see if I can at least get to that fifth chest. Uh... Nope, but that is our fifth chest up there. Uh, so, anyway. This, honestly, the only reason to do this would be to get the trophy. Because uh, the prize, which is uh, 63 stars, can be obtained a lot easier a lot of other different ways. Um, the real thing that you're going to be doing this for is to get the four chest uh, prize, which you're going to get by getting that chest and then going straight to that next one down there uh, and then completing the race, the rest as normal. Uh, but that is going to be a designer wallet. Uh, which I believe is Master Thief, uh, which we are going to be putting on Riku relatively fast. Uh, but anyway, so there's three. Let's see if we can't get it on this fourth one right here. Or not this, you know what I mean. Uh, we look to be making pretty good time. I don't see, oh, damn it. Yeah, the, the timing here is so tight that me getting caught up, yeah. Me getting caught up on that post is uh, going to completely mess with us. Um, but I don't know if I said this earlier, but all you have to do is win this race by collecting the five the five treasure chests to get the trophy. You do not need to uh, complete the race without touching the post. So if you want to touch every post you go by, like cut those corners, shave off like the extra little milliseconds of time, go for it. Uh, you will still get the trophy, you just won't get the three stars. Um, let's see how we're doing here. I cut that corner way wide. I'm probably not going to be able to get it. Let's see, coming up here. Yeah, I can already see that he is way ahead of us. Uh, but anyway, guys, so I have shown you the route that you need to take and uh, what you need to do. Um, if not necessarily showing you how to do it skillfully. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this out until I am able to uh, finish that. And I will be back momentarily. Alright guys, so I apparently had a little bit of a brain fart right there, and uh, instead of going for the 5 chests, I went for the 4. And uh, there you saw our prize, which was the 30 pendulum, uh, which, let's just go ahead and uh, double check what we're looking for. I'm looking for some of Riku real quick. Yeah, wrong button. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is going to be Master Thief uh, on the armor. Uh, give me one second. Oh, yep, there it is, uh, Master Thief. Uh, so that is going to be uh, basically a guaranteed steal on the rare item that a monster might have. Um, but yeah, so that is definitely good to go ahead and equip onto Riku as soon as you have an armor that you want it equipped on. But I'm going to go ahead and continue trying to do this and I'll be right back.
Well, guys, this might actually be the one. We seem to have a pretty good lead uh, on the other chocobo over there. Uh, so let's see what we do. Uh, yeah, just a reminder, don't worry about hitting those posts because it is unnecessary and nice. We landed in front of the guy. Very good, very good. Alright, so we hit two poles, but I'm not worried about that. That's what I want right there, is my trophy for winning the race while collecting five chests. Very good. And we got a potion. No big deal. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, I don't know if this actually helped or if this is just a mental thing or a wives tale, legend, whatever. Uh, but much like, like holding B in the original Pokemon games when you're trying to capture a Pokemon, uh, I find like holding X while you are trying to control this chocobo uh, gave me a little bit better um, control over him uh, but that was probably just a complete mental thing probably didn't actually help at all um, but yeah anyway guys uh, that is going to be it for this episode thank you for joining me and I hope to see you guys in the next episode when we try to get the world champion but anyway this is Fan52 signing out and until next time peace out <laughs>